when commodity to commodity system did not work out, then they looked for other such methods by which they could easily exchange or buy and sell goods. So, in the beginning, the precious metals were used that is in lieu in exchange of the goods they had silver or gold which they used to act which used to act as a medium of exchange. But this also was very tedious and could not be continued for a long time. So, originated money that is a currency which actually became a medium of exchange for almost everything in the world. And as I said, money is a medium of exchange. If you have currency notes in your pocket, you can almost buy the world. Whatever you are wanting to buy, it is being done easily by giving the notes in that are there in your pocket. That is the money, the currency. Next is money has a standard unit. That is each piece of note that you carry has a certain value. For example, a 10 rupee note is equivalent to 10 rupees. Whereas, a 1000 rupees has a value of 1000 rupees. So, you know exactly that the money or the note that you have in your pocket has how much value. Next, money as a store of value. It is very easy to store money these days. You can deposit it in the bank and take it out as and when required. Well, liquidity of money is also another factor which makes money so easily acceptable because everybody is ready to take this money and whosoever actually refuses to take this money comes under the punishable offence act. That is the government of India ensures and writes on every note that this note carries this much of value and whosoever actually gives this note should be given the commodity that he is looking for for that much of value. So, when we compare the barter system and the money, definitely money stands on a higher pedestal because money is the best form of exchange, best form of buying and selling in today's world. I continue with the next topic in the next clipping.